what we know about sexuality isn't based on fact. Many of our assumptions about what our relationship should be like are just assumptions. The truth is, beyond biology, our sexuality is based on culture, religion, history. It's learned. And this is called a sexual script. The concept of sexual scripts was brought to us by researchers Gagnon and Simon in the 70s. And what they found is that there was a script in different cultures about the sort of guidelines to their sexual behavior, templates for what they should do in certain sexual situations. And they found that these were really differentiated in terms of gender. Men's sexuality traditionally was seen as virile, hard to control, desiring variety. Whereas for women, our sexuality was seen as coy, passive, linked to our emotions. However, while studying anthropology, I read about sexuality in the Middle East, in the Polynesian Islands, in Africa, in my home country. And it turns out, from puberty rites, first sex, contraception, marriage, celebrations, polygamy, adultery, all of it's enacted differently depending on where you grow up. Sexual scripts are often invisible. There's a sort of sequencing to events that we take for granted. For example, take the classic first date. Would you go on your first date, meet someone at a coffee shop, and within a few minutes start rubbing your hand up and down the person's thigh? Probably unlikely. That might happen at the end of third, the third date, but not the first. The sequencing is you spend time getting to know each other, you ask questions, and bodily, you know, communication comes a little bit later. I guess if people are drinking, it might be out of whack. I don't know. That was a playful example, but there are a number of pervasive scripts that really damage our sexuality, and we can just do away with them and write our own scripts.